Hi dear cricket fans, uh, welcome to Cricket Happenings. Uh, well, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an analysis of the uh, New Zealand team which has been selected uh, for the Tour of India. Uh, well, just, uh, to, just to give you uh, what the fixture is, uh, it is going to be uh, three test matches and there are going to be five one days played. The first uh, test match actually starts at Sardar Patel Stadium in Mothera in Ahmedabad. Uh, it starts on November the 4th, uh, that's before uh, uh, Diwali for the Indian, uh, Indian people there. And also uh, it terminates on uh, 10th of December with a match between India versus New Zealand. That is the fifth one day international, which will be played at the M.H. Chidambaram Stadium in Chepok in Chennai. So, and there are going to be, it's all going to be, uh, there are going to be one, some uh, day night games, one day night game and all the others are going to be, um, uh, first, the first match uh, which will be played at the Nehru Stadium in Guwahati is going to be uh, a day game, uh, but other than that, uh, we are going to have all day night games. So, well, uh, f f before I really get into the analysis of the team that has been actually selected by New Zealand uh, actually to uh, tour India, uh, I would like to first talk about the match which got abandoned yesterday uh, due to rain between India and Australia. And Australia left the shores of India since 7980 for the first time without a victory under the belt, either it is, uh, if, whether it is a test match one day or a tour game. So uh, the, the, the series went to India. India won the series 1-0. Uh, and so basically they took the test series uh, uh, also and they took the one day series too. So that's credit to India. Now, uh, looking at the uh, side that has been selected uh, for the uh, the 15 man team uh, has been uh, selected uh, and uh, this is uh, something where we have Daniel Vettori uh, leading the side so I'm just going to do a brief preview of the team that has been selected for this uh, particular series between India and New Zealand which is going to be played in India um, the Daniel Vettori uh, is the captain of the New Zealand team and Nathan Vettori leads by example. Uh, the bowling is his uh, main strength, but uh, off late he also has centuries under his belt uh, in uh, test matches. So uh, basically, Daniel Vettori, uh, we can ca classify him as a good all-rounder. Uh, Brent Arnold uh, has been impressive. He's a left-arm pace bowler, uh, bowls well, hits the deck well. Uh, he has been doing uh, well in all the limited opportunities he has got. He did well against Bangladesh too. Now, Hamish Bennett is there in the team. Now, Hamish Bennett, uh, one would remember, uh, he's a very tall, fast bowler, um, and also he was quite impressive uh, in this, uh, even though uh, New Zealand actually got trounced uh, with Bangladesh, but Hamish Bennett uh, got, I mean, did, did well against Bangladesh too. And now, Martin Guptill. Now, Martin Guptill, uh, one would remember, he's actually making a comeback. Uh, there was uh, no Martin uh, Guptil um, was uh, not there, so Guptil makes his comeback into the team. And Martin Guptil will make a huge difference because he plays straight and uh, he's one of the uh, very, very uh, popular batsmen in the New Zealand squad. Uh, Gareth Hopkins uh, is the wicketkeeper uh, who would be there as a sort of standby because Brendan McCallum is there, but uh, Gareth Hopkins is a reserve wicketkeeper. He's also a good batsman too. Uh, Chris Martin, well, he has been an experienced uh, swing bowler, but probably in Indian conditions, uh, he might not really find it to his liking. Uh, the ball might uh, not come, uh, the ball might come easily to the bat on Indian pitches. Uh, Brendan McCallum, well, uh, the wicket keeper batsman from uh, New Zealand, such an explosive batsman, test matches too, he can really, uh, you know, buckle down and play a good innings. Uh, Tim McIntosh is uh, uh, a very good, uh, very, very compact player. Uh, tries to take his time at the crease and he plays and that's what is needed on Indian wickets too. I think Tim McIntosh uh, could uh, get an opportunity. So basically the pitches are going to be very easy uh, and good for uh, New Zealand. So probably but they have to get acclimatized to the Indian conditions there. Uh, Andy McKay, uh, uh, well, uh, he has been uh, doing well as far as the ball is concerned. And then uh, we have uh, the pace attack which consists of Tim Saudi who is a much improved bowler. Uh, Ross Taylor, well, uh, let me just talk about Ross Taylor. Ross Taylor, I just uh, missed uh, Ross Taylor, but one of the important cogs in the wheel uh, for the New Zealand squad and much will depend as far as uh, this particular test series between India and New Zealand is concerned on Ross Taylor because if he can get the, uh, get the runs, uh, that would be uh, good because it's very essential because he's one of the most experienced person in the uh, New Zealand squad after Daniel Vettori. Uh, so Daniel Vettori, Ross Taylor and Brent McCullum uh, would fall the fulcrum 
of the New Zealand team as far as uh, this tour is concerned. And then we have BJ Watling, who has been doing very well. He has been cementing his place in the Test Square too. He's a, a very good player. Uh, and uh, Kane Williamson, who was uh, very, very impressive in that uh, one-day international series where he actually got his debut century, uh, becoming the youngest New Zealander to do so. So this is the square as far as uh, the Indian tour is concerned. There are a few omissions too. Uh, Matthew Sinclair doesn't uh, find a form, uh, uh, find himself in the side. Peter Ingram, uh, well, he has been a good one-day player. He actually has modelled himself on Virendra Sehwag of India, so would have loved to be in India, but unfortunately, uh, he has not got the cut there. Uh, James Franklin is a good all-rounder, but uh, well, he is also uh, is out of the team. Uh, so what uh, they need to do is uh, they need to really, really deliver the goods. Now, you know, they are coming on the back of a bashing by Bangladesh. Um, their historical series win 4-0 so they, they need to really really pull up their socks uh, and uh, they need to put up a series but India are absolutely strong first they are playing in India they have already beaten Australia and um, I feel uh, it is going to be very tough for New Zealand uh, to really you know uh, get this series against India but uh, I think India are firm favourites as far as this tour is concerned but um, uh, well, probably India also has an opportunity to try some reserve strength because the World Cup 2011 is coming. Yes, I think they will definitely do so. Gary Kushner and Mahindra Singh Dhoni might combine to give all the youngsters an opportunity which they have been doing. They have been rotating the players. They have been keeping the big players uh, fresh for the World Cup 2011, which is a very good thing to do. Uh, and New Zealand have a lot to prove because after um, the 4-0 trouncing against Bangladesh, they are the ones, uh, the onus is absolutely on New Zealand. To prove a lot that youngsters are to come to the fore and wish everything goes well we have a gripping contest an interesting contest because we don't want the contest to be one-sided we want some fight there's going to be some real uh, entertainment uh, value there for all the spectators who are coming there and i'm sure uh, new zealand uh, would do well they would strive to do well against india uh, even though india look firm favorites uh, as far as uh, this particular tour of new zealand is concerned well, dear cricket fans, I uh, don't have man, anything else to share today. Uh, I would rather uh, end up this uh, cricket happenings on this note. And uh, that's it, dear cricket fans, for cricket happenings. Uh, this is Ram signing off. Thank you.